Hello and welcome to Apex Math. Today we are going to look at how to solve the special right triangle of a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. This is a topic that might be covered in a high school geometry class, an algebra 2 class, or a common core 3 class. So let's take a look at what I call the template. And I think that that's the easiest way to work with these. And we're going to draw a right triangle with 90 degrees here. And these two are 45 degrees. Now notice it's an isosceles triangle, which means base angles are equal. And that would also mean that the two sides are equal. So if this side is x, this side must also be x. And the third side, the hypotenuse, if you were to use the Pythagorean theorem, you would find that the hypotenuse comes out to be x square root 2. So without having to use the Pythagorean theorem and to just use this template to evaluate given one side of a 45-45 right triangle, let's learn how to solve one. So the first one we're going to look at is going to be the most easy. And I'm not going to write out the 45 and 45. You can make the assumption from this point forward that each of the triangles I draw is a 45-45-90 right triangle. And if this side is 4, then find each of the other missing sides. Well, if you look at the template here, you can see that the side that was given to you is an x. So I'm going to set it equal to whatever it was given to me. So x is equal to 4. So then this must also be 4. And this is just take the x, which is 4, and stick a square root 2 on the end. So that becomes really easy. So let's try another one. So let's say this time I have 6 square root 2. Well, you can see here, just by looking at the pattern, that if the hypotenuse is given and it's a number with a square root 2 on the end, then that number obviously must be the value of x. So 6 square root 2 is equal to x square root 2. I'm setting the side that it is equal to itself. So to solve, I would divide by square root 2 for x. You probably don't need to do this step. You can just see it automatically. But mathematically, you can see then that x is 6, which means these two sides of this triangle would be 6. All right, so let's do another one here. Alright, in this one, let's say that this side down here now has a square root 2 on it. So, again, this is a leg of the triangle. So I'm going to set that equal to my template value. So x is going to equal 4 square root 2. So that means this side here, which is another x, is going to be 4 square root 2. But now I need to find x square root 2. So I need to take the x value and multiply it times another square root 2 to get the value of x square root 2, which is the hypotenuse side. So if I just do this math, I have 4 times square root 2 times square root 2 is 2, so that becomes 8. So that would be the missing side of that triangle. Alright, for the next one, 
we will do let's say that this side is an 8. So that again is this side so I have to set it equal to the template value. So 8 is equal to x square root 2 and I need to find x because those are the two missing values. So to solve for x I would divide by square root 2. So x is equal to 8 over square root 2. But unfortunately, it's not that simple because that's not how we leave answers. We don't leave radicals in the denominator. So you have learned how to rationalize a denominator. And if you've forgotten, you simply take that value that's down here and you multiply top and bottom by that radical. So square root 2 over square root 2. So that gives me, making myself some more space here. That will give me 8 square root 2 over square root 2 times square root 2 is 2. But again, I'm still not done because if you notice, this value and this value are whole numbers on the outside and they reduce. 8 divided by 2 is 4, so 4 square root 2 is the value of x. So that is probably the most challenging um, type of problem you can get with the 45, 45, 90 right triangle is when you're given a single value here um, for the hypotenuse and you have to go through and rationalize the dot, um, denominator. Let's do just one more. And just to get some practice with radicals. Let's say that this one is 2 square root 3. So we are going to say x square root 2, which is the side that it matches up with, is equal to 2 square root 3. So again, we need to solve for x, so we're going to divide by square root 2 on both sides. And so we have this, however, it's not in simplest form. So again, we need to rationalize that denominator. So to do that, we are going to do multiply top and bottom by square root 2 over square root 2. So that gives us 2 square root 6 over 2. But again, we notice these whole numbers reduce here, so they actually cross completely off. And so the end result is that we just get square root 6. So that is the way we solve 45, 45, 90 right triangles. Memorize the template and just set the side equal to the piece of the template that you're given and solve for x. Now, in conjunction with this, in a separate lesson, we will do a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. And the template for that looks a little bit different so let's talk about that just for a second and just in helping memorize it. So the 45, 45, 90, the way I help, I help people remember that one is we have two sides that are the same. So we know, of course, this is going to be x and x because it's an isosceles triangle. And then this is going to be the one that has a square root 2 because it has it's an isosceles triangle with two sides that are the same. So this is going to be, the hypotenuse is going to be the one with the square root 2. Because over here, when we do the 30, 60, 90 right triangle, we're going to have the side, one of these sides is going to have an x square root 3. The opposite, the 30 here is going to be an x. Opposite the 60 on this one is going to be x square root 3. And opposite 
the 90 is going to be 2x. So you're going to have that template to memorize um, in addition to memorizing your 45, 45, 90 template. But this one, I remember, has the square root of 3 in it because it has the 30. This one has the square root of 2 in it because it's isosceles. So if you get confused which one has the square root of 2 and which one has the square root of 3, um, that can help you out. And um, the other thing when you're memorizing the 30, 60, 90 is you always know that the smallest side of it is going to be opposite the 30. Then x squared 3 is the next biggest number, so that's going to be opposite the 60. And then the largest value is 2 times x, so that's going to be opposite the 90 because that's the biggest angle. So that helps you remember which side goes with which angle. But we will do an entire different lesson on 30, 60, 90. So come back and visit us for that lesson coming soon. So I hope our lessons at Apex Math are helpful. Please subscribe and that way you will be able to get all of our notices about future lessons that we do and please like our videos as well.